Hello everyone, welcome to the other world 67. I am Mayur Kale and today I am going to share with you about the love of God the Father. People may know him as all powerful creator, Elohim, omnipotent, holy God, a God with long list of do's and don'ts. And there are many names of God such as Elohim, Yahweh, or the El Shaddai, Adonai, Jehovah Sidkenu and many others. But there is only one name of God for which Jesus came to reveal and that name is the Father. We were not just receive a Savior but we were given a Father. There is an idea that Jesus is the one who loves and cares and God is the one who is judging and finding fault in us. But it is God who sent his Son. We see that in Gospel of John 3.16 that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And in fact, Jesus was the one who was keep saying, Father has sent me, Father has sent me. Hallelujah. Even Jesus taught us to address God as our Father. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6 verse 9, he says, In this manner therefore pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallelujah. Even he himself never addressed God as God, but as Father. Except at one point when he was on the cross. When he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You know why? Because he was taking your and my place. He was separated from the Father for the first time in the life and he cried out, my God, my God. Hallelujah. In the Songs of Solomon chapter 2 verse 14, it says, Show me your face and let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet, for your face is lovely. My friend, God loves to see your face. What does that mean? Your presence and your voice is your prayer. Hallelujah. He loves to hear your prayer. He is not angry or mad at you, my friend. He is madly in love with you. Jesus explains this father's love and care for these children in the gospel of Matthew chapter 7. From verse to 9 to 11, he says, or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for a bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If then you bring evil, know how give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father will give good things to those who ask him? You know what? Ask him as your father. Our God is good father who wants to give his best and that is why he gave his best, his son. Hallelujah. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 18, God says, I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. As a good father, he cares for you and that is why Jesus says he has all your hairs of head number. I tell you that no good earthly father has this is interested in this much small details of your life. And he cares for you all these little concerns and the little details of your life. What is important to you is important to him. In 1 John chapter 4 in verse 9 it says, In this is the love of God was manifested towards us that God has sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. You know, this verse 9 reminds me of uh, a story which, hap what, which happens in the uh, book of Genesis chapter 22 verse 2 where it says, Then he said, Take now your son, your only son, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him. We all know that story, this Abraham, when God asked him for to offer Isaac. Hallelujah. And this is the first time the love word is appeared in the Bible. Hallelujah. And this love word in Hebrew is Ahaba, which is very similar to the word Ahaba, that is Father. What I'm trying to say is the, the word, the love, is not any kind of love, but is love of the Father. Now for you, you do not have to know the Hebrew for that. You just look at the story. He's talking about Abraham's love for his son, Isaac. The father love 
for his child hallelujah and when jesus was baptized that is why when jesus was baptized by the john the baptist god opened the heaven to him and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hallelujah now you will say he loved jesus more than us but he gave up that son whom he loved the most for you now you tell me whom he loved the most i leave that to you now that you are in christ he says of you now you are my beloved son this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased he is saying of you now now you now you'll say wait i did not do anything great or anything anything big for him to be pleased with me neither jesus did at this point when he was baptized he was he never started his ministry he did not do any healing any miracle raising the dead not even died at the cross hallelujah his love is unconditional his love is not dependent on your performance your good or bad doing his love is unconditional he loves you because of who he is god is love and that is why in verse 9 uh, first uh, first john chapter 4 in verse 10 it says in this is love not that we love god but he loved us and sent his son as propitiation for our sin this is the definition of love love when when love comes in the scene it's not talking about our love for god but it's talking about his love for us and that is why this verse says in this is love not that we love god but he loved us my friend god loves you because god is love thank you for tuning in like subscribe and share god bless